so there I was, a bright-eyed, bushy-tailed sixth grader in all my awkward glory. The year was 2003, and my AIM profile was stacked with Evanescence lyrics. Wake me up inside, wake me up inside, call my name and save me from the night. In fifth grade, I was surrounded by girly girls with cute braids and perfect outfits, and then there was me, an oddball, emo, 11-year-old tomboy who already had hair everywhere. Of course, I was a late bloomer in all the other ways, but not my hair. No, no, not only was my hair abundant, it was also very dark, which made it really pop against my pale skin. And thanks to my Hispanic roots, I had a pretty aggressive unibrow blooming in full force right when fifth grade started. But back to sixth grade, you remember bright-eyed, bushy-tailed? Yeah, so we sat alphabetically in the hallways after lunch, and I just so happened to be slotted right between my crush, Jack, and the school bully, Noah. Jack took his seat behind me, but not before shooting me a quick smile. OMG. I snapped my head forward so Jack wouldn't notice my beet red cheeks. I had to will myself not to throw up. He was so fucking cute. At that moment, Noah turned around, interrupting my silent ruminations on the beauty that was Jack. Poked his grubby Noah finger right between my eyes, proclaiming, Nice hairy caterpillar, freak. Noah. In my mind, I was slaying Noah with witty comebacks. In reality, I sat there sobbing in front of everyone, in front of Jack. That night, I tried to convince my mom to let me use tweezers to tame this beast. I cried, I pleaded, I groveled. She was immovable. You and your sister have beautiful eyebrows. You will appreciate them one day. Trust me. But this was not that time. I rolled my eyes and waited for the perfect chance to steal her tweezers from her purse later that night. The next morning, I went to school and hurried straight to the bathroom. I stared at myself in the mirror and I went on a tweezing frenzy. So I'd never watched anyone tweeze their eyebrows before. I had no idea what I was doing. YouTube tutorials were not on my radar yet, okay? So I surveyed my work. No hairy beast between my brows. No baby caterpillar above the bridge. Take that. Noah. I proudly walked out, and I went about my day. Time for lunch, or as I like to call it, Jack and me time. I took my seat, excited, Jack and Noah approached. They spotted me at the same time. Their jaws dropped. Oh my god, they exclaimed in unison, what did you do? Uh, I, I had tweezed the hair all the way to the middle of both eyes. I could fit my entire hand in between my brows and still see the blotchy red bare skin where hair once thrived. I realized my mistake instantly. I bolted from the spot and ran back to the scene of the massacre to cry. From the bathroom, I could actually still hear Noah and Jack laughing at me. I was mortified. I basically cried my way through the rest of the school year and vowed never to touch tweezers again. Joke's on them, though. Because today, Jack and Noah are bald with beer guts starting fake news wars on Facebook. Me? I got my awkward phase out of the way. And I look fly as hell now. XOXO. Glow up, girl. <laughs>